This weekend, we want to welcome all our online viewers, new and old, as we celebrate Black History Month. But we all know that every month is Black History Month. Know that these are difficult and challenging times. We invite you to stay connected by participating in our online worship services and remain faithful in your giving online. Any questions about giving, please feel free to email our finance department. Bethany, here is your weekly and social announcements. Weekly and social announcements are now transitioning to digital. Please submit your announcements by end of day on Wednesday to the Media Ministry. Loose 
the lady. Too many times we have people in our church who are bent over who ought to be standing straight. A lot of folk are bent all kinds of reasons, some externally inflicted and some internally inflicted. But today I want to look at a lady who was in a worship service with Jesus. And Jesus noticed her condition and he healed her. She had been in that condition 18 years. But when Jesus saw her, he told her to straighten up. Oh, I can tell y'all feel like church today. I'm going to start then talking about the silent suffering. The silent suffering. But Dixon, the first thing I know is that the lady is suffering, but there's not a whole lot said about her condition. She's in that condition for 18 years. We're not told how she got in that condition. We're not told what the circumstances were surrounding her condition. All we know is she's been bent over for 18 years. Can you imagine the gossip that was circulating during that time? Why she was bent over? Can you imagine folk who want to change her diet in order to straighten her up? You can imagine some people think they were superior to her because she was inflicted and they were not. There are a whole lot of things that go on that if you can see possibilities here, she had been suffering for 18 years. I mention that because this being Black History Month and I need to look at our history, we've got to realize there's been some silent suffering in our history. That black women have been suffering for years. And we see in the recent days that this young lady, Sister Jackson, has been nominated to be a federal judge. But then look what Biden said. He says, the court ought to reflect the population of America. My, my Lord. But look how long it took that to happen. How many times we had to be overlooked and how many times our history has been distorted. We have been told to wait just a little while longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the court should look like America, but the sad fact of the matter is America is not really the country she ought to be. How many black women had babies by their masters? Slave owners who would sneak in at night and rape them. They were not allowed to say a whole lot about it. Some of them weren't even allowed to keep their own child. A lot of suffering that went on in silence. What I'm trying to tell you is bad enough that our history and heritage contains a lot of suffering, but the fact of the matter is we don't have a lot of record of our suffering. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's sort of like the recent incident where we want to change the books. We don't want to talk about it because we don't want to make some people feel guilty. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, I'm going to preach on it. Yeah, yeah. It amazes me how Jewish people talk about the Holocaust. You see, when you talk about the Holocaust, the Holocaust, they can talk about it because that happened in Germany. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we can blame the Germans. Yeah. But we don't want to talk about slavery because slavery happened right here. Yeah. Yeah. We don't mind talking about the Holocaust because we can blame somebody else. Yeah. But we don't want to talk about what happened right here. Uh -huh. Amen. And the second fact of the matter is there's so much suffering we as a people have gone through that we don't even know about ourselves because our history has been so distorted. Amen. You know it was bad. You see how they erased us now. You can imagine what they were doing back then. Yeah. Yeah. We talked about how they stole a whole people's 
money, a whole town of intelligent people in uh, Oklahoma. Can you imagine what's happened in other parts of the world? Don't you dare think Oklahoma was the only city that was robbed, that a lot of us have been robbed of our heritage. Oh, I wish I had some money, friend. But we have to suffer in silence. Yes, sir. So that I came today to lift up this lady, 18 years of suffering. We don't even know the lady's name. All we know is she was in church and she was bent over. Oh, truth be told, life has a way of bending you over. You know, since you point your finger at somebody else, if you stay here long enough, you can't get bent over. My granddaddy, he died and he's about 86. Uh, he was a hard working man all his life, but in his latter years, he got to the point he started leaning over. Uh, I had a, a theory about one of my, my kinfolk, my granddaddy would lean over, you know, and then every now and then he straightened up. And I didn't know what the deal was, but uh, my sister, my Amy, really, she was my classmate, married one of my uncles. That's another sermon right there. <laughs> my uncle 20 years old than me, but I ain't gonna talk about all that. That's family bit. She said when there's no women around, he was bent over. <laughs> but since the lady showed he straightened up. <laughs> 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 yeah. but I didn't believe that until one time I was preaching my daddy's anniversary, looked in the back and granddaddy was coming late. He was bent over that and when he got in the middle of the said, oh, granddaddy, straight <laughs> And he walked down that aisle standing straight. I know that age has a way of bending you over, but I came out to tell you, everybody are not uh, bent for the same reason. Some people have to go through some hardships, and that's why they've been over. Some people have had to carry a load all of their lives. Yeah, yeah. And that's why they've been over. I don't have time to talk about all of the possibilities. But I want you to kind of focus today on people who are suffering silently. Yeah, yeah. You see people in church, oh, they may be straight up in terms of their physical posture, but the fact of the matter is a lot of folk have been over psychologically. Now. A lot of folk have been over uh, spiritually. A lot of folk who are having to carry a heavy, heavy load. Right. And they're not able to walk straight like they should uh, because uh, their force is working on them. Uh, I mentioned earlier, some people think it's a physical thing, but you know what? But the, the text shows us something right here. That, that, that sometimes our ailments, our infirmities has nothing to do with just our physical condition. Sometimes we got to deal with the fact we got some demons loose in the world. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. telling us that this condition wasn't something she ate. It wasn't something that she had didn't, uh, didn't do. It wasn't the fact that she didn't exercise properly. No, some demons had been home. To eat the right kind of food and you taking your exercise. Let me tell you something, the devil can get a hold of you and mess your life up. The devil can get a hold of you and just contaminate your whole living. A lot of folk would be happy to have beautiful lives if it wasn't for the demons that have contaminated their home. How many women suffer in silence? She come to church with a smile on, but she got to go home. Oh, wow. 
You get mad when a sister marries a white man. But you know what? Maybe, maybe it ain't all that, it ain't all that bad. Maybe if she can't be the brother that don't whip her, maybe a white man know how to treat her. for the northern border. Right. Right. And they got a different philosophy for 
the Southern Cross. Those people who are escaping from political tragedy from Haitians, they want to close up the Southern Cross. Wow. The Mexicans, now they say they're all of them are drug addicts and drug players and act like everybody from the South is demonic. You see, that's what the devil does. He likes to put everybody in one little pump, one little group, so we can demonize all of them. You got fools trying to brag about running on a, 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 a platform of building the wall. I'm going to build the wall. Like that fool come out, Trump supported me wholeheartedly. That ain't something to brag about. That's something you ought to be ashamed of. You stop talking about what you stopped and building a wall. You, are, you ain't stopping no drugs building a wall. You stopping some good people from coming over here, but you're not stopping drugs. The drugs still coming over. They bring the drugs through the tunnels. I had a minute. They bring the drugs through the tunnels. They bring the drugs on the boat. You ain't stopping none of that. No, you won't build a wall. The, the, to stop the people who need to get here from getting here. Oh, you ain't got to like it. I'm gonna say that this girl talking about she uh she gonna build a wall to stop illegal people from coming in. And she makes a point of that, you know, her relatives are legal. My question is, Brother Jackson is, how you gonna come over here legal? But you ought to at least let them over to stop the process. Yeah. But see, that didn't feel like nothing. God bless you to get over it. God has brought us from with God. Sometimes black folk talking crazy to some of these other people. Act like you've been delivered all your life. I said, we need to learn our history. And find out what we've been through. We've been through some rough times. We've been through some hardships. We've been through some trials and... Some tribulation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, saints ought to see the demons are busy trying to pull down. Uh, notice the man who got a problem, the leader of the synagogue. He, he didn't talk to Jesus. He's he too scared to do that. He talked to the people. He tells them, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. You shouldn't come to the synagogue to be healed on the Sabbath. If you be here, then you ought to wait till the next day. Yeah. I wish I had a witness here. Yeah. Wait till tomorrow. Yeah. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Black folk been told to wait all their lives. Right. They got to admit there are some injustices and they say we're going to straighten it out. But wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Give us time to straighten it out. I was yeah. listening to a report that was talking about uh, Frederick Douglass when he was talking to Abraham Lincoln and uh, uh, articulating some of the problems of the times and said, uh, Mr. Lincoln was saying, well, we're going to do that, you're right, but we need to wait just a little bit, uh, have some patience. I said, isn't it a shame that they were waiting back in the 1860s? They told us to wait in the 1960s. And we're on our way to the 22 and uh, the 20, 2060s and, and see whether they still talk about the same kind of way. Yeah. yeah, I love that song that's waiting a little, little, little while longer, but I cannot tell you, some, at some point the waiting ought to stop. Yeah. At, some, at, some point, at some point, it's time for us to be about our father's business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he wanted them to wait because he, he don't see people, he, see, he sees problems. Yeah. That lady ain't a lady, she's a number. Yeah. Just like they stopping them people at the bar, he don't see the reason why she should be healed on the Sabbath day. Yeah. Uh, and Jesus got his attention when Jesus said, isn't it something how you care more about your cows than you do right. this lady? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You care more about your donkeys than you do this lady. Your pet dog is more important to you than those people at that board. Do I have a witness here? I told y'all about that cartoon when they separated the parents from their children. And then they had nerve enough to put the children in cages. 
Hmm. And then the cartoon I was looking at had children in cages to the back of the lady, but it had dogs in cages in the front of the lady. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And she was upset because they put the dogs in cages. Yeah. I wish I had a witness here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, y'all don't want to hear it. I, I'm not a problem with your pet dog, but you ought not care more about your dog than you do another human being. We the children of God, we come to church, we say we love the Lord, but you know there are some people who love stuff more than love people. You can find fault with folk the way they dress in church, but you have no problem with finding fault with your dog. You care more about stuff than you care about folk. You better not touch some people's new dress. They ain't gonna just cut you out, they ready to cut you. You better not turn out and pull something on my new suit. Put a stain on my suit that the cleaners may not be able to get out. I, I'm concerned about what's going on. Saints ought not look at the world like the world sees the world. Saints should care something about souls because God cares about them. Do I have a witness here? The Bible said Jesus told him, you ain't nothing but a hypocrite. Mm. You around there taking your animal out to go give them water, but you want me to let this lady loose from her infirmity. You don't mind taking your transportation out, but you want me to keep her locked up. There's something wrong when you don't want to liberate those who are bound by the forces of evil. I think I ought to tell you, we could have a whole lot better church if we just Run the devil out of our church. Yeah, yeah we can get a whole lot more amen if the devil didn't have his hands over some of y'all minds. We get a whole lot of folk dancing and running if the devil didn't have some of y'all legs all tied up. The folk would have been clapping while the choir was singing, but the devil got you all tied up. And when somebody said, I need you to come by, I so said, I can't come by now. And 
God is saying, no, I got a remedy that'll work for you right now. Thank you. 
ought to have somebody you're trying to encourage. If you don't have somebody, you need to start looking. You start praying, asking God, Lord, who is it I'm supposed to encourage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't be limited to just one or two. Just every time you get a chance, try to say a good word. Do I have a witness here? Yeah, Saints are praying. Saints are praying that the Spirit is moving. If you're here today, you've been convicted by the message. Now is the time to come. Yeah. Make a decision. If you're here today and 